Boys and girls, today we're going to read a story that I really love. It is a folk tale, and that's a story that is told by from generation to generation because that's how they entertain. They didn't have movies and YouTube and all these wonderful things, TV. So they would tell stories to entertain each other. And this is one called a folk tale that's passed around from generation to generation to generation. Um, it also is a little bit of a fantasy because it has some stuff that really, really couldn't happen in real life. So um, I'm not going to spill the secret, but you all will figure out what really, really happens in the story that can never really, really happen in real life. But this is a really, really cute story, and it's called Two of Everything by Lily Toy Hong. Lily Toy Hong enjoys camping, getting together with her large family, and eating Chinese food. She also loves learning about her parents' native country, China, and its many legends and folk tales. One day, I would love to visit China and explore the land of my forefathers, she says, and maybe discover more folk tales. So this is called Two of everything. Look how cute they look. Once long ago, in a humble little hut, lived Mr. Hacktack and his wife, Mrs. Hacktack. They were old and very poor. What little they ate came from their tiny garden room. Tiny. In a lucky year, when the harvest was plentiful, Mr. Hacktack little had a little extra to take to the village. There he traded turnips, potatoes, and other vegetables for clothing, lamp oil, and fresh seeds. So there's their little house and their little garden. One spring morning, when Mr. Hacktack was digging in his garden, his shovel struck something hard. Puzzled, he dug deeper into the dark ground until he came upon an ancient pot made of brass. How odd, said Mr. Hacktack to himself, to think that I have been digging here all these years and never came upon this pot before. I will take it home and maybe Miss Hacktack can find some use for it. And there he is digging in the garden. The pot was big and heavy for old Mr. Hacktack. As he stumbled along, his purse, which contained his last five gold coins, fell to the ground. He tossed it into the pot for safekeeping and he staggered home. His wife greeted him at the door. Dear husband, what a strange pot. Mr. Hacktack explained how he found the pot. I wonder what we can do with it, said Mrs. Hacktack. It looks too large to cook in and too small to bathe in. So look, there's the pot. He's carrying it on his back. It must be pretty heavy. As Miss Hacktack leaned over to peer into the pot, her hairpin, the only one she owned, fell in. She felt around in the pot, and suddenly her eyes grew round with surprise. Look, she shouted, I pulled out two hairpins, exactly alike, and two purses too. Sure enough, the purses were identical, and so were the hairpins. Inside each purse were five gold coins. Look, and there's her hairpins. One, two, two purses. So that's double the money, isn't it? Oh, how do you think he's feeling now? Mr. Hacktack was so excited, he jumped up and down. Let's put my winter coat inside the pot. If we are lucky again, the pot will make two coats, and then we will both stay warm. So into the pot went one coat, and 
out came two coats. They began to search the house and quickly put more things into the magical pot. If only we had some meat, wished Mr. Hacktack, or fresh fruit or one delicious sweet cake. Mmm, now he's thinking like Miss Lewis when he starts talking about cake. That's what I would put in it, too. Miss Hacktack smiled. I know how we can get anything we want, she said. She put their ten coins into one purse and then threw it into the pot. She pulled out two purses with ten coins in each. What a clever wife I have, cried Mr. Hacktack. Each time we do this, we will have twice as much money as before. The Hacktacks worked late into the night, filling and emptying the pot until the floor was covered with coins. Do you think she's pretty smart to come up with that idea? I think she is. Look. Oh, look at all these coins. The rich. Morning came. And off went Mr. Hacktack with a long list of things to buy in the village. Instead of vegetables, his basket was full of gold coins. Mrs. Hacktack finished all of her chores and sat down to an empty cup of tea. She sipped her tea and admired the brass pot. Then, with a grateful heart, she knelt and embraced it. Dear Pot, I do not know where you came from, but you are my best friend. She stooped over the pot to look inside. Uh-oh, what do you think is going to happen next? Remember, she's old like Miss Lewis. Uh-oh. And at that very moment, Mr. Hacktack returned. His arms were so full of packages that he had to kick the door open. Bang! Mrs. Hacktack was so startled that she lost her balance and she fell head first into the pot. Mr. Hacktack ran over and grabbed his wife's legs. He pulled and tugged her until she slid out into the floor. But when he looked in the pot again, he gasped. <clears throat> Two more legs were sticking straight out of it. Naturally, he took hold of the ankles and pulled. Out came a second person. She looked exactly like his wife. So there's one person and here's another pair of legs in the pot. You think he's gonna like that? Mm. The new Mrs. Hacktack sat silently on the floor looking lost. But the first Mrs. Hacktack cried, I am your one and only wife. Put that woman back into that pot right now. Mr. Hacktack yelled, no. If I put her back, we will not have two women, but three. One wife is enough for me. And he backed away from his angry wife, and he tripped, and he fell headfirst into the pot himself. Dun, dun, dun. So look, this wife, this is new wife. She doesn't know what's going on. This is the first wife, and she is mad. She's jealous that there's two ladies there now. So anyway, look, now he's going to back into the pot. So what do you think is going to happen? Oh, dun, dun, dun. Both Miss Hacktacks rushed to rescue him. Each grabbed, grasped an ankle, and together they pulled him out. There were more than two legs in the pot, so they pulled out the other Mr. Hacktack, too. Wow, look at all that. you got to be kidding. you got to be kidding. Just what use does one Mr. Hacktack have for another? Mr. Hacktack cried angrily. This pot is not as wonderful as we thought it to be. Now even our troubles are beginning to double. But his wife had been thinking while he was yelling. What do you think she's thinking about? Do you think she's come up with an idea? She's pretty clever. She was the one that thought to put the coins in there. Calm down, she said. It is good that the other Mrs. Hacktack has her own Mr. Hacktack. Perhaps we will become best of friends. After all, we are so alike. He will be a brother to you and she a sister to me. With our pot, we can make two of everything. So there will be plenty to go around. Hmm. 
Is that pretty smart? And that is what they did. The Huck Tax built two nice homes. Each house had identical teapots, rice bowls, silk embroideries, and bamboo furniture. From the outside, the houses looked exactly alike, but there was one difference. Hidden in one house was a big brass pot. Of course, the hack tacks were always very careful to fall into it again. So they fixed that problem they had. Do, can anybody think of another problem that maybe we would have? Because one house has a big brass magic pot and the other one doesn't. The new hack tax and the old hack tax did become good friends. The neighbors thought that the hack tax had grown so rich that they decided to have two of everything even themselves. I, I could see, like I could see a problem with maybe the new hack tax getting jealous that the old hack tax had the magic brass pot. I could see that becoming a problem down the road, but I guess we'll have to see. Maybe you all could write an ending to that story and tell us if they would have problems with jealousy over the magic brass pot or perhaps if they just got along and lived happily ever after. I don't know, it could be up to you. Anyway, I hope you guys like this story. Love you, mean it, bye.